Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Dave and in today's video I'm really excited. We're going to be seeing how long this EcoFlow Delta 2 can power our furnace. We're also going to be testing out the solar panel here. Um, it's really snowy today so I'm not sure how well the solar panels are going to do but it's going to be a nice test for how we can use this as a backup source for our furnace in the middle of winter if there is a power outage or some type of emergency. All right, so let's go ahead and power on our EcoFlow. As you can see, we've got 100% battery capacity. We show over here our input watts and our output watts and how many hours this will uh, suggest will run at the current load that it's showing. So that'll be interesting to see once we plug our furnace in. Now down here, we have two USB-A and two fast charging USBs. And we also have two USB-Cs. Now, if we flip over on the other side of our unit, we have our two charging ports, solar, and if you wanna plug into the grid. Now, right here, we have our outlets. We have two grounded outlets, and the other four are just a regular uh, non-grounded outlet. And then down here, we have our 12 volt cigarette lighter option as well, which is pretty uh, nifty if we have a car charger or something we want to plug in there. This is our 160 watt solar panel that came with this kit. Um, all of these items were sent very graciously by EcoFlow. I'm curious to see how these solar panels will do without direct sunlight. So we'll have this set up outside. Now a word of caution, if you're going to power your furnace with this EcoFlow or any battery really, you want to avoid putting this uh, charging this by your furnace. So we're actually going to have this upstairs. Our solar panel will be outside and we'll just have an extension cord run here and plugged into our pigtail that goes to this. Now, if you haven't seen how we installed this in the end screen, we'll have a video that shows how we installed this. Normally with grid power, this will be plugged into this outlet but since we are isolating and plugging this into our inverter or into our power station, we have this unplugged and that switch turned off. So let's get this set up and see how long this baby lasts. So we got everything set up. Our switch is turned off here. Again, we unplugged that. We've got it plugged into our extension cord. Now, something to note, you want to keep this a minimal length because the longer you have this cord, the more draw it's going to have on the system. And so try and keep that as short as possible and as heavy a gauge of wire as possible also. So we've got our EcoFlow plugged into our furnace here. We're gonna go ahead and turn on these AC outlets. And then we also have our solar plugged in here that goes down under here and outside. And I'll show you what we got set up out there. Now, as you can see, it is a winter wonderland out here. So obviously we're not gonna get direct sunlight, but as soon as I plugged this in, I heard the um, power station beep. And so these can only go in one way. You simply uh, push these tabs in and it just pops in. So you can't connect these wrong. Really nice design. So we're gonna have these set up here and make sure that no snow gets on it. That will definitely help the system. Um, it obviously would last longer if we had full sunlight, but I think it'll definitely help. Now, as you can see, it's 37. It's probably colder because our little reader is actually inside this little hut that we have temporarily set up. It's 63 in the house. It's probably more like 30 degrees out here. So let's go to our thermostat and see what we got. All right, so our thermostat kicked on. We see that little orange flame there. So our furnace is running. So let's hop down over to the furnace and see how everything's running. All right, so everything is up and running as you can see. We've got our ignition, our fan is running, producer is all running. It's 9.56 when we're starting this test. We got nice hot air coming out of the vents and we're gonna keep the home at 65 degrees. Our thermostat just met its threshold at 65. So let's check out the power station to see where we're at. All right, so let's power this up. This button just powers up the screen basically, but if you turn it off, it's not gonna turn the whole thing off. It's just for the display here. 88%, so 
This number might go up in between when the thermostat has met its threshold and the solar is giving a little bit of juice to the power supply. Now, while we're waiting, another beautiful thing about this EcoFlow is that we can set up an auxiliary battery that will basically double our capacity. It'll jump from a thousand watts with the Delta II to about 2000 watts. All right, so it's 1054. Uh, this thing's maintaining pretty well. I think we're gonna get some really good usage out of the EcoFlow. I've actually got to run some errands, so I'm just gonna let this sit, keep our house up to temp. It's still showing 81%. All right, guys, it is 2.30 p.m. As you can see, we're still within the two degree threshold. So let's just power the screen on. So we are showing 46%. And again, uh, the solar panels are giving it some juice as we go. So we're just under 50%. And again, it's 2.30. So we started this test at about 10 o'clock. So... 11, 12, 1, 2, 30. So at three, we'll have five hours and we'll be about 50%. So this thing could very well last 10 hours, which is four hours better than the battery test we did. So, so far so good. Um, it's kept the house nice and toasty. Looks like we're actually getting a little bit of sun on our panel, so that's kind of nice. So we'll check back in in a little bit and see how it goes. Hey buddy, you staying warm? Yeah, thanks to the eco flow. Sit, good boy. Shake. Oh, nice to meet you. This is Ralph. Now, one thing a lot of people ask is if my furnace is on, will my thermostat still be functional? And the answer is yes. As long as your furnace has power, it will send power to the thermostat and your thermostat will function just like it does normally on grid power. Um, with the exception of if you have batteries, the batteries is actually what powers the thermostat, but it will still send a signal as long as your batteries are good to the furnace and it'll maintain a certain temperature that you have it set to. Another great feature is that you can charge this power station with your cigarette lighter. This is the same um, type connection as our solar panel here. So if we were driving or something and we wanted to charge this up, or if we're in a backup power situation and we need to put this in our car and charge it. All right, it's almost six o'clock and we're reading at 22%. Uh, we're maintaining at 65 degrees. So we'll give you another update here in a little bit. All right, guys, it is 8.20 and this thing finally quit as you can see we're at zero percent zero hours so from 10 o'clock to 8 20 so 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so just over 10 hours on the ecoflow delta 2 well guys super impressed with the ecoflow delta 2 really a nice uh power station for such a small compact size um, if you're looking for any power station, EcoFlow really has the best um, options available. They have several different models. So depending on your need, you can pick something that works for you. So we'll have a link to this particular one as well as the solar panel in the video description with a specific discount code for all of you awesome viewers. So feel free to check that out. Now, if you have not seen the video on how we configured that switch, so we can easily plug this in in the event of an emergency. Check out this video right here and we're gonna show you exactly how to do that step-by-step step so that you can be prepared in any emergency in the winter time and you can power your furnace easily. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll catch you on the next one later.